hyperbolic function. In mathematics, hyperbolic functions are analogs of the ordinary trigonometric, or circular, functions. The basic hyperbolic functions are the hyperbolic sine shine, and the hyperbolic cosine cosh slash kas slash, from which are derived the hyperbolic tangent tan h, hyperbolic cosecant csch, or cosec slash cosec slash or slash co usit s slash, hyperbolic secant sec slash sec slash or slash set slash, and hyperbolic cotangent coth slash cath slash or slash cath slash, corresponding to the derived trigonometric functions. The inverse hyperbolic functions of the area hyperbolic sine are seen and so on. Just as the points, cos t, sin t, form a circle with a unit radius, the points, cosh t, shine t, form the right half of the equilateral hyperbola. Hyperbolic functions occur in the solutions of some important linear differential equations, for example the equation defining a catenary, of some cubic equations and of Laplace's equation in Cartesian coordinates. The latter is important in many areas of physics, including electromagnetic theory, heat transfer, fluid dynamics, and special relativity. The hyperbolic functions take real values for a real argument called a hyperbolic angle. The size of a hyperbolic angle is the area of its hyperbolic sector. The hyperbolic functions may be defined in terms of the legs of a right triangle covering this sector. In complex analysis, the hyperbolic functions arise as the imaginary parts of sine and cosine. When considered defined by a complex variable, the hyperbolic functions are rational functions of exponentials, and are hence meromorphic. Hyperbolic functions were introduced in the 1760s independently by Vincenzo Riccati and Johann Heinrich Lambert. Riccati used SC and CC, sinus circular, to refer to circular functions and sh and ch. Sinus hyperbolico, to refer to hyperbolic functions. Lambert adopted the names but altered the abbreviations to what they are today. The abbreviations sh and ch are still used in some other languages, like European French and Russian. Standard algebraic expressions the hyperbolic functions are hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cosine, hyperbolic tangent, hyperbolic cotangent, hyperbolic secant, hyperbolic cosecant. Hyperbolic functions can be introduced via imaginary circular angles. Hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cosine, hyperbolic tangent, hyperbolic cotangent, hyperbolic secant, hyperbolic cosecant whereas the imaginary unit defined by I2 equals 1. The complex forms in the definitions above derived from Euler's formula. Useful relations Odd and even functions. Hence, it can be seen that cosh x and sec x are even functions. The others are odd functions. Hyperbolic sine and cosine satisfy the identity which is similar to the Pythagorean trigonometric identity. One also has. For the other functions, the hyperbolic tangent is the solution to the nonlinear boundary value problem. It can be shown that the area under the curve of cosh, x, is always equal to the arc length. Sums of arguments. Particularly. Sum and difference of cosh and shine. Standard integrals For a full list of integrals of hyperbolic functions, see List of integrals of hyperbolic functions, where c is the constant of integration. Taylor series expressions It is possible to express the above functions as Taylor series. The function shine x has a Taylor series expression with only odd exponents for x. Thus it is an odd function, that is, Shine x equals shine x, and shine 0 equals 0. The function cosh x has a Taylor series expression with only even exponents for x. Thus it is an even function, that is, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. The sum of the shine and cosh series is the infinite series expression of the exponential function. Where? Comparison with circular functions 
the hyperbolic functions represent an expansion of trigonometry beyond the circular functions. Both types depend on an argument either circular angle or hyperbolic angle. Since the area of a circular sector is it will be equal to u and or equals square root of 2. In the diagram such a circle is tangent to the hyperbola x y equals 1 at 1 1. The yellow sector depicts an area and angle magnitude. Similarly, the red augmentation depicts an area and magnitude as hyperbolic angle. The legs of the two right triangles with hypotenuse on the ray defining the angles are of length. 2 times the circular and hyperbolic functions. Identities The hyperbolic functions satisfy many identities, all of them similar in form to the trigonometric identities. In fact, Osborne's rule states that one can convert any trigonometric identity into a hyperbolic identity by expanding it completely in terms of integral powers of sines and cosines, changing sine to shine and cosine to cosh, and switching the sine of every term which contains a product of 2, 6, 10, 14. Shines. This yields for example the addition theorems, the double argument formulas, and the half argument formulas. The derivative of shine x is cosh x and the derivative of cosh x is shine x. This is similar to trigonometric functions, albeit the sign is different, that is, the derivative of cos x is sin x. The Goudermannian function gives a direct relationship between the circular functions and the hyperbolic ones that does not involve complex numbers. The graph of the function a cosh, xa, is the catenary, the curve formed by a uniform flexible chain hanging freely between two fixed points under uniform gravity. Relationship to the exponential function from the definitions of the hyperbolic sine and cosine, we can derive the following identities. And these expressions are analogous to the expressions for sine and cosine, based on Euler's formula, as sums of complex exponentials. Hyperbolic functions for complex numbers Since the exponential function can be defined for any complex argument, we can extend the definitions of the hyperbolic functions also to complex arguments. The functions shine z and cosh z are then holomorphic. Relationships to ordinary trigonometric functions are given by Euler's formula for complex numbers. So, thus, hyperbolic functions are periodic with respect to the imaginary component, with period, for hyperbolic tangent and cotangent.